This one would be spectacular if I had a second land. Like, really spectacular. But I don't want to have a non-game, so I am going to mull this. And this one's not much worse. Um, in terms of what I want to put back, I guess the egg is the worst. Oh no, it's not working? I'll check that during the sideboard. Could have sworn I added it. <laughs> Oh, okay, gotcha. Go ahead and play this out for a black source here. We don't need the Omen of the Sea just yet. Reclamation deck. This one has gotten me a couple times. A lot of people are saying this one's the current best deck in standard. The fairy will definitely help though. Looks like they might have the counter spell. I just started streaming last week. the potential to survive here. I think at this point I can agonize and remorse into Omen of the Sea and hope for the best. Oh, thank you, Becca. Yeah, it's been really fun. I, uh, I enjoy playing, obviously, but I've also enjoyed sharing it with people and interacting with the chat, so it's been a good time. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I was super nervous the, the first time I streamed. It was a little bit awkward, but I feel like I'm getting more comfortable. And I'm even learning to look at the camera sometimes, so it doesn't look like I'm sleeping while I stream. Oh, interesting. So they're going to copy the Agonizing Remorse. I'm going to take this opportunity to play Omen of the Sea. I don't really want either of these cards, but I think I'll draw a land just to ensure that I keep hitting land drops. They'll probably take Treacherous Blessing, so maybe I need both of these lands to hit Dream Trawler on time. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough spot. I don't like having the uh, Wilderness Reclamation staying out there. I actually think I need to find a way to get rid of it, now that I'm saying that out loud, so I'm going to bottom both lands. <laughs> yes, uh, worth missing the nap. <laughs> oh, are you asking for Mark or for me? Because this is worth missing the nap streaming it, but for Mark, maybe not worth missing the nap. <laughs> they do anything that interacts with their graveyard, but we'll just clear out a card from there anyway, since they have gotten uh, their hand empty. So here, hopefully I can Treacherous Blessing into a Doom Foretold, and they won't hit anything good in the next turn. But with the Scry, that's a little bit unlikely, and actually they get to see a lot of cards with Wilderness Reclamation. Oh, <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna Treacherous Blessing here. Oh, 
and unfortunately none of that is super helpful. I'll shock though, and on the... Actually, I'm gonna play the Omen now in case they hit a counter spell. So I think Omen's better than Egg just because I can scry um, before I draw, so I'm more likely to find something good. Don't really care about getting rid of Gadwick. Um, the Wilderness Reclamation is what's going to do us in. The three points from Gadwick will get them a little closer to a big expansion explosion, but I really need to find a way to get rid of this or we're not winning. The fact that they know we have Kaya's Wrath is keeping them probably from playing the Brazen Bower, which is sort of nice. Uh, it looks like they found Expansion Explosion though. Not lethal yet. Could also just be scrying, I suppose. It's still pretty bad. They'll draw a ton of cards here. It's going to be hard for us not to die the next turn if they just hit us and draw a million cards. <laughs> That's actually the second time someone has tapped my Treacherous Blessing. <laughs> not the best play. Not that it matters here at all, but uh, yeah, if you're ever playing Gadwick, don't attempt to tap the opponent's Treacherous Blessing. Alright, Dance of the Mance doesn't really help. I guess gaining a little bit of life here and playing the egg is the best we can do. Scry. With the amount of cards they just drew, it's almost impossible that we're not dead on this turn. Yeah, I think Thassa's Intervention was a pretty good upgrade for Wilderness Reclamation. I'm not sure what other new cards they got that put this deck up to the top tier, but it seems... Oh, I guess Uro does help as well. Right on cue, they answered my question. But yeah, it's seeing a ton of play, and it has felt pretty strong whenever I play against it. Well, if they don't have a counter spell for Doom Foretold somehow, they can play out the Brazen Borrower and sack that, keeping Wilderness Reclamation. I don't know, it doesn't feel likely that this is going to end well for us. So maybe double Brazen Borrower here, if they have another one, yeah. And that will, well, oh, they're just bouncing the Doom Foretold, interesting. Okay. Not much we can do from this position, but I am excited to play game two. Alright, at this point, I'm not even going to make them do it. They definitely have it, and let's get to the next game. So Mystical Dispute feels very strong here, as does Dovin's Veto and D-Spark. Kai is okay against specifically Euro or Uro, but I'm not that worried about that particular card. In terms of cards that I do not want, Wrath is terrible. 
and Oath of Kaya is very bad. I don't know if I want to bring in anything else. I guess I could play Kaya instead of Oath of Kaya, but I like having this as an enchantment and a way to hit Teferi. So we'll run this. Becca, how often do you play uh, Arena? Alright, this is solid. We're gonna keep. Blue Moon is in fact also a magic card, fun fact. Man, you're living in the past. So definitely playing Treacherous Blessing here for a number of reasons. One, it doesn't get picked off by Mystical Dispute. And two, I don't really want to sacrifice Teferi to Doom Patrol. It is a card and a beer. Um, I'm not really sure uh, what I want to pitch actually. This is like an embarrassment of riches over here. I guess I'll pitch Elspeth Conquers Death. Don't really need that right now. Alright, so this is a tricky turn. I'm a little bit concerned that they're going to have counter magic for Doom Foretold. I do have several Doom Foretolds, which makes that a little bit better. I think I have to go for it and kind of hope for the best. Alright, so no counter magic. That is excellent. And nothing to flash in, so we got rid of Wilderness Reclamation. That is huge. I feel like at this point we're in a really nice spot. So Mark, when you type it, do you see the Poggers uh, emote? Awesome. I, again, now this is really an embarrassment of riches. I don't know if I want to just throw another Doom Foretold down or play out an Ashiok. Feels like trying to pick apart their entire hand is really good. Then we can Ashiok next turn. Man, they are flooded over there. Alright, they did find another Wilderness Reclamation. Um, we could Doom Foretold to get rid of it and flash an Omen of the Sea on our turn, and we can Doom Foretold with Mystical Dispute back up. So let's try that. Yeah, the, uh, the Doom Foretold has been landing this game, and usually when that happens, things go well. They found a lot of Wilderness Reclamations, and apparently they've got maybe uh, Expansion Explosion here. But I think being able to flash an Omen of the Sea on our upkeep, where I just put the stop, <laughs> uh, almost forgot about that, should be... Oh, wow. And we can even dispute that, since we have another... Um, well, I guess we don't have another dispute, but just keeping them from doing anything seems like fun. And I am going to flash in Omen of the Sea here draw a card and sacrifice it and take the 
Let's see. Uh, we're going to have four lands if we play an untapped land. We can play Agonizing Remorse and Omen. Okay. We'll go ahead and resolve that. Sacking the Omen. Yeah, this is absolutely a great run out. I've drawn very well this game. And luckily, we've been able to keep them off of doing anything meaningful. So let's check out their last card just in case it's something good. It is, so I'm glad we took this line. And we'll attack. And I'll land the Omen of the Sea now, um, just to make sure it resolves. And we don't really need any more lands. <laughs> Alright, Mark, you and Becker are good luck. We are uh, getting on a bit of a roll. For some reason I thought that was game three, <laughs> uh, but we do have to win one more. And I think I'm going to run it back exactly the same. Mark, do you stream also? Oh, cool. What did you stream when you were streaming? Go. Is Hops another remote that I need to add right now? <laughs> Got it. Um, I mean, I like any hand with Doom Foretold. Hopefully I can draw some blue mana, but I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, blue mana would be a very strong draw now that we have both Dova's Veto and Mystical Dispute. I agree, the lack of blue and the lack of any early action does hurt. Alright, maybe this can draw us into some blue. Alright, there we go. So if they play Wilderness Reclamation... Oh, alright. I like seeing that land come into play tap. And this will actually allow us to have both Dovin's Veto and Mystical Dispute up because of the way Golden Egg interacts. So this is pretty strong and we can always Omen of the Sea at the end of the turn and sack the Golden Egg for Mystical Dispute if we need to. Egg into blue. Yeah, I should get Dana to start streaming some Overwatch. The console streaming setup is a whole nother animal though. We've got to get the capture card going. Okay, we'll play our omen here. Oh, she'd be hysterical. I like all this blue mana and I'm happy to keep drawing land, so we'll take them both. She would definitely scream non-stop in excitement. Okay, um, playing Doom Foretold here I think would be a huge mistake. Um, they haven't done anything all game, they must have a counterspell. Uh, I think since we have two counterspells of our own that will start allowing us to interact, it makes sense just to stay uh, untapped here. Nice, Mark. 
So I feel like this game will come down to who plays better, and I'm hoping to be the player that does that. I mean, Dovin's Veto. Oh, jeez, this is actually... Yeah, definitely we have to Dovin's Veto, actually. If we Mystical Dispute, we'd have to pay for it, and then we can't actually counter back, so we just force this one to resolve here. And this opens the window for a Doom Foretold as well, which is really nice. So we'll go ahead and pass it back. Yeah, exactly, Mark. Anytime I can land Doom Foretold, things are going well. Um, now, hopefully they try to slam a giant blue spell and not another Wilderness Reclamation. Hydroid Crasis would be really sweet here. Or nothing is also very good for us. Um, now we're in another interesting spot where obviously we have Dream Trawler, but it feels like not making a mistake and tapping out into a counter spell and allowing them to get going is very valuable. You grab another white source here and just pass the turn back with the idea of Omen of the Sea potentially scrying Okay, I don't really care about the flame sweep. So I'll omen on our turn in case we find another two mana play. And we have plenty of land, so let's keep digging. And pass. Yeah, uh, there's no way I'm going to be trying to counter Flame Sweep to get rid of our 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> and the double Mystical Dispute now is super nice. So we'll play the first one. Um, there is a new spell, it's 3 mana, counters every spell that they control, so it's actually a pretty decent card against specifically Hydroid Krasis. I'm considering putting one of those in the sideboard, I forget the name of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and sack one of these to scry, get rid of all these lands. Alright. So we can Dance of the Mance, but that's underwhelming. I think playing Dream Trawler with our Mystical Dispute mana up is strong. Yeah, they were ready to snap off that Mystical Dispute. Not so fast. So unless they can do something really broken on this turn specifically, I feel pretty good. They did put something on top, so I imagine that's a Wilderness Reclamation. Oh, they have the Reclamation already, okay. Oh, and they have an Expansion Explosion or something? Hopefully this is a Scry. Yeah, maybe it was a mistake to um, counter the Mystical Dispute. It's possible I needed to leave up. But unfortunately, that wouldn't have countered the Reclamation anyway, so not really that helpful. Hey, Corey, welcome. Thanks for joining. We've been uh, crushing some people with a, a weird deck that I'm playing. It's been a lot of fun. I've got my friends Mark and Becca hanging out as well. And I think we're about to win our next match here, unless something goes terribly wrong. This is a really strong card against Wilderness Reclamation. Let me go ahead and attack first.
And if they have counter magic, I sort of want to bait it out so that we can land Teferi as it shuts off their main game plan. So I'm considering Dance of the Mance for four. Fortunately, it leaves us one short of playing Teferi. Let's do a priority check here. They have something. I'm gonna play this in case it's a mystical dispute and hope for the best. All right, we can resolve that and we can pay for it. And here, gonna bounce the Wilderness Reclamation. Yeah, getting that off the battlefield is important, and they were not able to hit another card to play. I thought they kept something on top, so that's a little weird. They can do a lot of scrying, but at this point we should have them locked out with Dovin Vito, which is really nice. Hey, no problem, Corey. It was a lot of fun. I appreciated uh, seeing how you do all that and also uh, working with some of the soldering. I was telling Kailash, you live on the edge. You get your hands right in there with those wires. I was like holding them from a mile away. All right, so here we're gonna play a huge Dance of the Mance. And I want to keep up Dovin's Veto just in case. So we'll just actually play it for four. I'm uh, well on the pathway to Twitch affiliate. I've just got to work on my follower account, but I feel like we're getting the average views up, and it's been a lot of fun streaming these past two weeks. How did your after school stuff go, Corey? Are you ready? So here, Mark, it's pretty interesting. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to de-spark or if I'm supposed to keep up Dovin's Veto. I think I keep up Dovin's Veto because of Teferi. So this doesn't really do all that much right now. So you have to have 50 followers. That's the only like pretty challenging one. The other ones is simply streaming eight hours in a 30 day period. Um, oh, no need to despark. I have Doom Patrol, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I also need to stream on seven different days and I need to uh, have an average viewer count of three. Go ahead and despark this guy. And that should be the game. All right, we are definitely on a roll.